a list celebrities who allegedly attended Sean Diddy Combs' notorious freak-off parties are now facing a critical decision. Settle out of court or prepare for a lawsuit, even if they did nothing illegal. Attorney Tony Busby, representing over 120 alleged victims, has issued demand letters to these high-profile figures, urging them to pay up or face legal action. Busby previously mentioned that investigations into Sean Diddy Combs' case implicated several Hollywood elites, but stopped short of naming them. Now he is targeting other celebrities who attended Diddy's freak-offs, arguing that their silence and inaction make them complicit. In a recent appearance on TMZ's documentary, The Downfall of Diddy, Inside the Freak-Offs, the Texas-based attorney asserted that these high-profile individuals are as guilty as the perpetrators because their silence and unwillingness to intervene make them liable. Busby claims that the attendees include politicians, celebrities and business people, as Diddy's parties were highly sought-after events. Busby explained that his approach is standard practice. Sending a demand letter to outline the perceived situation and the celebrity's involvement, aiming to initiate a dialogue. However, if this fails, they will proceed with filing a lawsuit. When asked if he had sent these letters, he confirmed, that's true. Elsewhere in the show, Busby delivered an impassioned speech about not sparing any celebrity who might not have participated in the illicit activities, but failed to stop them. He stated that stars who witnessed drugging and allowed it to continue are just as liable as those who orchestrated the events. Busby emphasized that these bystander celebrities are just as guilty as far as I'm concerned. He also noted that Diddy's associates are likely scrambling to erase any incriminating social media posts. In a conversation with Law and Crime Network, Busby expressed confidence that some of Diddy's celebrity friends are distancing themselves by deleting social media content. I have no doubt that there are people right now who know they were somehow involved in this who are now scrubbing their social media, searching their memories, deleting texts, probably deleting pictures, and trying to distance themselves from this, he said. And we know who they are, or we will find out who they are, he added. This is not something that's going to happen overnight, but I think we're at the tip of the iceberg here. A woman named Tanya Wallace claims she saw several minors at Diddy's Freak Offs surrounded by adults. Wallace told TMZ she was invited by a Saudi prince who flew her from Los Angeles to Miami. Upon arrival, she observed many people appearing intoxicated on drugs or alcohol, engaging in prolonged sexual activities. She was particularly disturbed by seeing little people dressed like Harajuku Barbies, implying they were minors encircled by adults, though she did not witness any specific interactions. Diddy's attorneys have denied Wallace's claims, asserting she lacks credibility and her story is false. Miss Tanya Wallace has no credibility, and her claims about freak offs and minors are completely and categorically false, they stated. As we've said before, Mr. Combs cannot respond to every new publicity stunt, even in response to claims that are facially ridiculous. They continued, Mr. Combs has full confidence in the facts and the integrity of the judicial process. In court, the truth will prevail. That the accusations against Mr. Combs are pure fiction.